Hello everyone and welcome to a new week of lockdown. Um, right now Rosie and Boba are having a nice little bit of food on the table. Let's see how long they'll stay with us shall we? So today our strawberry is called See You Later Alligator. Now I wonder, do you remember at school when we do our story thoughts, we talk about something we like, something we didn't like, something we wondered, so a puzzle that we had, and any connections we made, anything that we thought, oh yeah, that reminded me of that story, or that reminded me of that place that we went together. So I've put Bobbin. I have popped up uh, something called a Padlet, which is all explained on the website for you. Have a go at putting your thoughts, your story thoughts on that Padlet, okay? You can get mums and dads to type for you, or you can have a go at typing if you can try. So have a look and our story that we'll share today and have our story thoughts about today is called See You Later Alligator. Tortoise wanted to go on a big adventure to see the world, but he couldn't possibly leave without saying goodbye to all of his animal friends. See you later, alligator. I'll be a while, crocodile. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Ooh, could you hear the same oo sound? Toodaloo, kangaroo. That oh oh digraph. Ooh. I'll call you soon, Mr. Raccoon. I'll be gone before noon, Mrs. Baboon, because, I wonder why, because, maybe it's got to rhyme with oon, like noon and baboon. It's a long way there, baby bear. You'll have to stay here, little deer. Wow, those deer have got such long legs, haven't they? I'm sure it makes them very, very good at running. It's over that hill, Buffalo Bill. Across the wide sea, Bumblebee. Through marshy bog, Scruffy Dog. And desert dry, Butterfly. Look after the house, timid mouse. And mow the lawn. Unicorn? <laughs> Is this a unicorn? He's got a horn, hasn't he? Over here. Hmm, I wonder if that does make him a unicorn. What do you think? <laughs> the key's under the mat, pussycat. I've put money in the meter, anteater. <laughs> Do you know what a meter is? Some of us might have meters. It's where we can put money in for the electricity and the heating and all the lights to work. That's what he's doing. I'll be back, Natter Jack. Sooner than you think, Slinky Mink. Slinky Mink's going somewhere too, but he's wearing a mask and he's got a sack. Hmm, what could Slinky Mink have been up to? I can't stop another day, Squawking Jay. Oh, I wonder if anyone's seen a Jay in their garden. They're quite rare, aren't they? I've not seen them in my garden. They're very beautiful. 
There's so much more to see and do, Mr. New. So don't wait up, Buttercup. Oh, is that the type of animal? I think that's what that cow likes eating, Buttercups. Looks like it's time to go, Slow Joe. It was the same every day. By the time Tortoise had said all of his goodbyes, the park gates were locked and his big adventure to see the world would start all over again the very next morning. Oh, is he still here? Deary me. Yep. Wow. Tortoise took so long saying goodbye to all of his friends that he didn't even get to go out on his adventure. Poor Tortoise. <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing another story with me and have a look on the website for how to put all your story thoughts on i'd like to hear about something you liked about that story did you like the pussycat did you like it when tortoise didn't make it out something you didn't like i didn't really like it that this raccoon was stealing this handbag it looked like any puzzles you had? Hmm. I wonder whether Tortoise knew that he wouldn't be able to get out of the park in time. Or any connections. So what did it remind you of? It reminded me of the Tortoise and the Hare. Well, I'll see you tomorrow to share another story. And thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you all very soon. Bye-bye.